Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so this week we're gonna just dive in. I'm gonna use some watercolor. I have my core watercolor pack here. These are the colors. It's like this really beautiful purple and a magenta and an orange, a burnt orange. Well, this is a burnt orange actually, burnt yellow orange. A pretty, pretty chartreuse green and a teal. My fave, I'm just gonna cover my page with watercolor first and then of course I'm going to play with my pan pastels. I have four. I've only pulled three sets. You can see I've already started dabbling. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. So I've got a lot of choices here and then this is the colorless blender that you can use to soften all your edges and stuff so it's not, if you're looking for that. I mean I love the bold but I also love the soft. It's just fun to play, you know. I can't help it. And then I thought I'd use this, I have a thing for circles. I'm obsessed with them. I've always, always loved them. I think there's kind of a magic about them. I don't know, it's just kind of who I am and how I'm built. So um, I thought I would use some of the, use the template and just do some circles throughout and then fill them in with color. And I have my Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils, chalk pastel pencils. We'll be using these as well. And then I have a different substrate, one I don't think I've ever worked on before. Um, it is the watercolor artboards by Canson. It is, I believe it is cold press. Let me see. Yeah, it's cold press texture. Not super crazy about it. Um, I, but I don't know hundred percent. I know I'm not a huge fan of working on cold press, but it doesn't seem to be like out of control texture wise. So I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. And then, um, also I like it because it's on a block, which means both sides are glued. So I don't have to tape it down to anything. I can just play on this. I can just leave it, fold this like this and just work like this on it um so we'll see we'll see and then i have my little tools i've said before i have a bunch of little guys here with a bunch of different colors so i don't have to keep changing the uh pads the foam pads on the tips and then they all bunch of different like oval tips or round oval pointed for all the different purposes i have my windsor newton just my number 10 watercolor paintbrush i'm not going to do a ton of detail so 10 was perfect my charcoal, my general's charcoal pencil in black and white. And then I don't know if I'm going to need this. I always grab it, but I, I think I'm going to draw everything out with my charcoal, which I just love it. I love it. I love it. It's delicious when it combines with things. Um, but I have it just in case because it's my trusty pencil. It's my Graph Gear 1000 um, 0 0.3 from Pentel. Love it. And then I have my mono Tombow Mono Zero eraser. It is really good. Chalk works really well with erasing. You can erase a lot of stuff with it. So I have my uh, black dustless eraser and then my mono to get into all those little nooks and crannies. And then I have a couple more tools. I have a big sponge, like so. And then I have this guy here, which I think is really cool because these are interchangeable. You can take the heads out and change them if you want to. So I have those. And then a blending stump, a couple blending stumps too, if I choose to go that route. And then finally, I have some white gesso, white acrylic gesso, which I will be doing. I'll be, oh, I had chalk on me. It's okay. I will be scraping um, some gesso over it just because I like to push and pull. I like to put the color down of the watercolor and then kind of break it up with the gesso to kind of modif you know, unify everything and then um, go from there and start building in my layers because I love the layers. I don't know if anybody else does this. So I don't have to pull out my whole palette. I just get a little tiny piece of tin foil and I put my paint in it and then I use that with my like scraper. I take it and I, I actually found an old license of mine. So I'm just gonna and then scrape it on, okay? So we're gonna see where this goes. All right, guys, if you like what you see and you're enjoying How To Tuesdays, please click um, like, click the subscribe button and um, make sure to click that bell so you get personalized notifications. Also make sure to join us over at Next Generation Art on Facebook and come have some fun with us three weekly challenges i put up every week for you guys to participate and play with um thanks for being here i'm excited it's been a while since i've been creative so let's get started all right guys thanks bye hi guys okay so this is the finished piece she went through some transformation you saw that i added um a couple more colors and i was going to add this but i didn't want to take the time to peel off the little white piece of you know protective thing on the inside so i didn't which dictated my piece and i'm totally digging it i had a moment of like oh gosh where is she going i wasn't super loving it and uh, unfortunately there is a fly that got through here so if you see it fly by i am so sorry but um you know it's summer and they're out and about especially on my patio because it's cooler i don't know 
anyways um, I wanted to tell you that you'll see quite a transformation I went straight in I'm not well let me finish I went straight in with the pastels they were okay but they weren't popping enough because I had the background and I really dug how the background turned out so I went back in and added some gesso to give it a base uh, you know just a basic white pigment and then it made the colors pop a little bit more so I liked how that turned out a lot and um, yeah I'm not super crazy in love with the paper it's very sturdy I will tell you because it's an artboard so it's very sturdy that's it right there which I dig but I don't like the texture I have to investigate and see if they have um, a flat like non cold press but a hot press instead because this oh, look at that I got some on there oh well part of the piece I do dig this a lot I like that it's like that and I also went out and sprayed it and I did use the fine art fixative from from Krylon this is really good it a couple coats in and it completes it from moving the other one I used was a workable fixative which is fine which means I could move the stuff around and still add stuff to it um, this and like remove if I need to and stuff this I can still add to but after a couple coats it's sealed deal it's done deal so uh, I just wanted to share that with you and I will include that in the description box also a box I will include a link for that and all the stuff that I've used um, today okay but I wanted to give you a little like a backstory I guess because I had fully intended to not paint her um, with gesso but I really wasn't liking how the pencils weren't popping I really wanted them to be stronger and brighter so um, I added the gesso and I'm super pleased with it now I cannot wait to see what you guys do all right guys check out the video have fun bye
Thank you.